Hey there, my friend, welcome. I'm Dr. Anthony Balduzzi, founder here at the Fit Father Project, and I'm excited for today's video because we're gonna do something that we've never done before. We're gonna show you exactly how we set up our home gym here, and more importantly, how you can set up your home gym um, because there are some core essentials that'll just be amazing for you to be able to set up a home gym. And I can't tell you just the amount of convenience and money we save by having a home gym. So we're gonna cover the steps and the important things that we think of in this video. You're gonna learn a ton. Get out a pen and paper, and let's dive on in. Fitfatherproject.com. All right, so let's cut right to the chase. You know, for a lot of reasons, home gyms are amazing. I mean, the average gym might cost $40 a month, so just being a member of a gym for a year can be almost 500 bucks. Um, and that's on the low end side of things, right? So it can be a really great idea to invest in a home gym. And it's not just for the financial savings, which definitely can be there, um, it's for the convenience. Because if we're being honest with ourselves, the best thing we can do is set ourselves up in an environment where we make working out easy or at least the fact that there's not a lot of friction to getting that habit going. And there's not too much anything better than that than actually having your weights right at home. You don't have to battle traffic, there's no excuses to get out and do that kind of stuff. So that's the biggest reason that I love a home gym. Now, here at the Fit Follow Project, we teach this fitness stuff for a living. So. We have pretty much all the bells and whistles here. We're gonna show you a little bit around our home gym, how we do things well, but I'm also gonna show you the bare bones setup, which you absolutely essentially need the basics to get started on a home gym. And before I show you some of the equipment, I'm actually standing by one of the pieces right now. Uh, I wanna say that a lot of people think to themselves, oh, you know, I don't have this space for a home gym, or we can't convert my garage to a gym. You know, if you have an opportunity to do that, go for it. But listen, pretty much most people I've seen, they have that one room in the house that they keep for the relatives and they come in maybe like one, two, three times a year and that room just sits like that. You know, that could be your home gym. It could be just a piece of that room that you have the home gym in there and then when the relatives come in, you move some of the stuff out. So there probably is space in your house and the best thing is you don't need a ton of space. So that brings me to the first piece of equipment. If you're gonna outfit a home gym, uh, the number one thing you need is an adjustable pair of dumbbells. Now, you can go out ahead and get a full-blown dumbbell rack um, but the problem with this is that thing is damn heavy to move and all of these dumbbells, you gotta buy weights in five pound increments all the way up to however strong you get. So for most guys, that might be weights from fives all the way up to like 85s. Crazy, right? I mean, this is very expensive. So what I love is a simple setup just like this where you have some adjustable dumbbells. I think we got these from York Dumbbells. I'll make sure my team actually puts the exact links of what we got. Um, but these are amazing because it's just a simple spin mechanism where these things spin on and off. You can load the old school weights on there um, in a couple different sizes. I want to show you this mega one, which is awesome because you can get these shorty guys, which are great. You can load, um, these are 10 pound plates up here. So this is a 75 pound loaded dumbbell. You can probably load up to like 85 pounds on this, but this guy can go up to as heavy as you can possibly go, really. I mean, they can probably take around you know, 70 pounds per side. So these are great because you just get a stack of these weights, you can adjust them really easily. Um, and what you're also gonna probably want is some kind of flooring that's good for you to drop. So you can actually see, come down here, check this out. This is rubberized gym flooring. So we have a, we have a hardwood floor in here, um, but this is just rubberized gym flooring that we just laid down. We got, a, we got it around, this guy look, is around an inch. Um, inch thick because we want to make sure we're not cracking the bottom of the floor but even getting two of these cutouts of gym flooring with a pair of dumbbells just like this is the bare bones you need for a gym setup and if you haven't checked out our Fit Father uh, 30X program yet highly recommend it because we show you the vast majority of the workouts we give you a whole at home workout setup so whether you work out at the gym we give you the gym routine if you work out at home we give you the home routine we show you how you just do it with a pair of dumbbells so most of our members are working out at home pair of dumbbells and some of them have gym flooring some of them just use carpet but it's really really amazing now the next thing is I'm actually sitting on it. The next piece of equipment after adjustable dumbbells that I would get is an adjustable weight bench. Amazing. I mean, you could train your whole body and build the body of your dreams with a pair of adjustable dumbbells and a weight bench. And I love this. This is a I've had this exact weight bench for probably like 10, 15 years. Um, and it's amazing because you can just raise it, lower it, really simple it can go even into a little bit of a decline right here so a simple adjustable weight bench you want to buy something that's not cheap crap because this is something you're gonna have but for a couple hundred bucks you can have one of these uh, that can be with you for life and it's very easy to pick up transport again you can use that spare room in the house to put the dumbbells in the bench really great and amazing now after you get those two pieces in place um, I would potentially consider 
getting a pair of kettlebells. So um, when you join, if you check out our Fit Follow 30X program, we talk about a lot of these fat burning workouts that involve kettlebells. So these are a great investment, um, but with these guys, they're not adjustable. So you will have to get a pair somewhere around 20, 30 pounds, but they're amazing. The fat burning circuits we have in that uh, FF30X involve kettlebells. Could be a good investment, not necessary because the dumbbells really are, but I want to point that out. We have a whole army of different kettlebells down here that we have, um, which again, they're great tools, particularly for these fat burning complex workouts, but they're not the necessary foundations of the dumbbells and the bench. Next thing though, if you have the space, is to get a barbell with some weights. So barbells are great because they give you some more variety in doing some of these bigger compound lifts, things like the deadlifts and the squats. And with a barbell though, if you do get it, you're either gonna wanna get um, rubberized plates that can bounce, like these guys can bounce, or an actual full-blown platform like you have here that's meant to actually pick up the weight here and you can drop it and it's meant to bounce on this platform. So um, if you're gonna get a barbell, good to get a platform as well, and at least get some bumper plates that you can drop, because you don't wanna be dropping traditional plates like these guys, um, you know, which are not meant to be dropped, et cetera. So barbell, great. You don't even need a rack, because this is great for doing dumbbells, squats, shoulder presses. You can even take this and probably potentially do some bench presses on your bench. Um, really amazing. If you can though, I'd look into getting some kind of power rack setup where at the very least you can rack your barbell up here and it's a little easier to get it for squats. A lot of these power racks also come with a pull-up bar on them. So this is a potential great addition. But I gotta say, remember, I'm giving you the fundamentals of what I would get first if I had the space. If I only had like a closet room of space, it'd be a bench and a pair of dumbbells, that's all you need. This next stuff is stuff we can layer on. So I do recommend a barbell if you can get it, as well as the power rack. Um, but regardless if you can't do these kind of things right now based on your space or your finances or whatever, what I would look into is some resistance bands. So. We have a whole bunch of these suckers here, um, but these are a great tool um, because you'd be shocked with a, with a very strong resistance band, the kind of exercises you can get with your curls, your lateral raises, and what I love about this, if you're a guy who travels a lot, you can throw these things in your bag and you can do so many amazing exercises with these. So resistance bands are huge. They're great at home, and I, mean, I can take a band like this and hook it around the back side of a doorway or my power rack here, and I can start doing things like my face pulls, just like this. So it's a really versatile at-home piece of equipment. You can put it on the ground, you can do shoulder raises, you can do pull-aparts, really awesome piece of equipment. So resistance bands would be something I would definitely consider getting, and again, doesn't take up any space. So those are the foundations of a great at-home gym. Get an adjustable dumbbell set. I prefer these types of dumbbells over um, one of those power blocks or the Bowflex power blocks where you twist it and you pull off a different weight. Uh, this is just a little more old school and I like it to have a proper dumbbell like this that I like to turn on. They're more stable, you can drop them without worrying about breaking them. Um, if you are gonna be dropping your dumbbells, get some rubberized gym flooring um, and definitely get a bench. So this is the foundational stuff, but above all, um, you can totally trick out a home gym. You know, I just want to show you these are some of the foundational basics. We have a ton more toys here in our gym. Heck, we even have a pool table over there um, that we like to use sometimes between sets. So an inversion board. Um, so we got some fun stuff we play around with here in our home gym. But the point is, build something that has the foundations. And as I said, if you're a guy who's interested in starting to get this at-home workout stuff figured out and you want to start training at home, getting the basics, getting the dumbbells, the kettlebells, and a bench, and you, more importantly, you want to start seeing results, then check out our FitFollow 30X program. It is the best program online for busy guys over 40 who want to lose fat, build muscle, and get strong for the rest of their lives, and especially if you want to do it at home. All the home workout routines are amazing, and you can see links below uh, to the page in the overview letter and all the testimonials and all guys whose lives have changed. Definitely check that out. I know you'll find it valuable, and thank you for being here, my friend. I'm excited. I hope you build an amazing home gym, and if it kicks ass, and when you join our program and get results, invite me over. I'd love to train with you um, and see what it looks like, so thanks for being here, my friend. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day. Check out FitFollow 30X. We'd love to have you with us and I'll see you in our future videos and I'll talk to you very soon.